Have you ever wondered how some people make their money work for them? They're not just saving it in a bank account, they're investing. Investing might seem complicated like something only experts do, but the truth is, anyone can learn the basics and start growing their wealth. It's about taking control of your financial future and making your money work as hard as you do. This guide will break down the world of investing into simple, easy to understand steps. You'll learn about different investment options, how to choose the right ones for you, and the most common mistakes to avoid. Whether you're just starting out or looking to expand your knowledge, this guide is here to empower you. It's time to demystify investing and open up a world of financial possibilities. Let's get started. Investing means putting your money to work for you. Instead of letting your savings sit idle, you're putting them into assets that can grow in value. Think of it like planting a seed. Invest your money, and with time and care, it grows into wealth. There are various ways to invest, each with its own risk and return. Risk is the possibility of losing your investment. Return is the profit you make. Higher risk can mean higher returns, but also higher losses. Starting early is crucial due to compounding. Compounding is earning interest on your interest. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow. Even small contributions over time can lead to significant wealth. The first step to investing is setting clear financial goals. What are you saving for? A down payment on a house? Your dream vacation? Retirement? Having specific goals will help you determine how much to invest and what kind of investments to consider. Next, you'll need to choose a brokerage account. Think of a brokerage account as your gateway to the stock market. It's where you'll buy and sell your investments. There are many different brokerage firms out there, so it's essential to compare fees, features and ease of use before making your choice. One of the biggest misconceptions about investing is that you need a lot of money to get started. The truth is, you can begin investing with a small amount of money. Many brokerage firms allow you to open an account with a minimal initial deposit. The important thing is to start somewhere and let the power of compounding work its magic over time. Now comes the exciting part, choosing your investments. There are many different investment options, each with its own risk and return profile. Popular types include stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs. Stocks represent ownership in a company. Buying a stock means owning a piece of that company. Stocks are higher risk but can offer higher returns. Bonds are loans to a company or government. They are less risky but offer lower returns. Mutual funds and ETFs pool money to invest in diversified portfolios. They offer diversification and are managed by professionals. The Power of Stocks for beginners, the stock market can seem intimidating, but it's essential to understand the potential it holds for building long-term wealth. Stocks represent ownership in companies, and when you buy a company's stock, you're essentially becoming a part owner. As the company grows and becomes more profitable, the value of your shares increases, leading to potential profits. Investing in stocks allows you to participate in the growth of the economy and benefit from the success of innovative companies. While past performance is not indicative of future results, Historically, the stock market has delivered higher returns compared to other asset classes over the long term. Of course, investing in stocks comes with risks. The stock market can be volatile and stock prices can go up and down in the short term. However, for long-term investors, these fluctuations tend to even out and the power of compounding can work its magic. Unpacking Stock Picking Choosing the right stocks to invest in is crucial for successful stock market investing. While it might seem daunting, understanding the basics of stock analysis can empower you to make informed investment decisions. Start by researching companies that interest you or align with your values. Look for companies with a strong track record of profitability, a solid management team, and a competitive edge in their industry. You can find valuable information about companies by visiting their websites, reading industry reports, and following financial news. Pay attention to a company's financial statements, including their income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. These statements provide insights into a company's financial health, profitability, and ability to generate cash flow. Don't be afraid to ask questions and seek guidance from financial professionals if needed. Reading the signs. Understanding financial data. 
Financial data might seem like a foreign language, but it's easier to understand than you might think. Start by focusing on a few key metrics that can give you a quick snapshot of a company's financial health. The price to earnings ratio is one such metric. It compares a company's stock price to its earnings per share, giving you an idea of whether the stock is overvalued or undervalued. A lower price to earnings ratio might indicate that the stock is undervalued, while a higher price to earnings ratio might suggest overvaluation. Another important metric is the debt to equity ratio, which measures a company's financial leverage. It tells you how much debt a company is using to finance its assets relative to its equity. A higher debt to equity ratio indicates higher financial risk. Remember, these are just a few basic metrics, and it's crucial to consider other factors and conduct thorough research before making investment decisions. Diversification. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. One of the most important principles of investing is diversification. Diversification means spreading your money across different asset classes, industries, and geographic regions. Think of it like this. You wouldn't put all your eggs in one basket, would you? The same principle applies to investing. By diversifying your portfolio, you're reducing the impact that the poor performance of any single investment can have on your overall returns. If one investment loses value, others may perform well, cushioning the blow. Diversification helps to mitigate risk and enhance the potential for consistent returns over time. It's a key strategy for building a resilient portfolio that can weather market fluctuations. Avoiding common investment traps. Even seasoned investors can fall prey to common investment mistakes. Knowing what to avoid can save you from making costly errors. One common mistake is trying to time the market. Market timing is the attempt to buy stocks when they're at their lowest and sell them at their highest. While it might sound tempting, it's incredibly difficult to predict market movements consistently. Instead of trying to time the market, focus on investing for the long term and ride out the inevitable ups and downs. Another pitfall to avoid is emotional investing. Making investment decisions based on fear or greed can lead to irrational choices. When the market is down, it's easy to panic and sell your investments at a loss. Conversely, when the market is up, it's tempting to get caught up in the euphoria and buy stocks without proper research. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Stick to your investment plan, stay disciplined, and avoid making impulsive decisions based on short-term market movements. Staying the course long-term versus short-term. Investing is a long-term game. It's not about getting rich quick, it's about building wealth gradually over time. Short-term market fluctuations are inevitable, but they shouldn't deter you from your long-term goals. When you invest for the long-term, you're giving your investments time to grow and compound. The power of compounding is most effective over extended periods. By staying invested and reinvesting your earnings, you're accelerating the growth potential of your portfolio. Remember, the stock market has historically trended upwards over the long term, even though there have been periods of decline. By staying focused on your goals, riding out the dips, and remaining disciplined with your investment strategy, you're positioning yourself for long-term financial success. Ready, set, invest. Congratulations. You've taken the first step towards becoming a confident investor. You've learned about the basics of investing, different investment options, and common mistakes to avoid. Now it's time to put your knowledge into action and start building your financial future. Remember, investing is a journey, not a destination. There's always more to learn, and your investment strategy may evolve over time as your financial goals and circumstances change. Don't be afraid to seek guidance from financial advisors or mentors who can provide personalised advice tailored to your specific needs. Investing can be empowering, and the sooner you start, the more time your money has to grow. Start small, stay informed and watch your wealth flourish as you embark on your exciting investment journey.